Britain and the United States will vie to supply the Australian Navy with two new anti-submarine helicopters in a deal worth up to $240 million. The final selection will be between the U.S. Sikorsky Seahawk and the British Westland Lynx. Two a night. But if I take um, a week off, then I go into jogging and lifting weights, punching a heavy bag. Obviously it isn't money, the reason you still do it now. Uh, why do you keep going? Because I, I enjoy it. And I think um, to stop would, would be a shame. That's a bit of an understatement. What do you reckon, Al? Be like that when you're a grandfather? Oh, I moved a little bit quicker than him, Frank. <laughs> oh, <well. laughs> uh, before we go to you, Alan, I was going to say our State of Origin boys have gone down. I certainly did, Frank. And I'll be back with that story in a moment. And Queensland's bid for the America's Cup. It was a race, you know. You could you had, sometimes you never saw where your ball finished because the people ran in front of you. But um, I would prefer to play that way than not having any people there at all. Stuart Ginn, when asked to describe the Royal Queensland Gallery, answered this way: "Fantastic! I think that 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 event just showed uh, the golfing public in Australia that uh, we've got world stars like Greg Norman, Gary Player, Bob Shearer. These fellows that played in that event, I think, it was one of the best galleries and behaved galleries I've played with the, uh, against, you know, in a long time." And that's nine sports for this evening. Frank, go lotto. Coming up, Alan, first division, there were 14 winners this week and each will receive $127,107.29. Division two returned $1,482.95. Division three, $403.90. Division four, a straight $22. And division five gets $10.40 this week. That's it for Gold Lotto. Hope you struck a good one. Tomorrow's weather coming up.